thank you for being here today. Exciting time for Nickel Soccer. Uh, we are happy to officially welcome Christy Hummers back to Nickel. I'm always excited to get to say that, that back to Nickels as our new head soccer coach. Um, I'd like to thank a few people for being here today. Uh, the Thibodeau Regional Health System family for all that they do for Nichols and the University. Um, um, their continued support is, uh, is always seen, especially in the soccer program. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Lester Bima in attendance as well. Lester, long time friend uh, of Nichols soccer. And, um, I guess former interim head coach we can now say as well. Um, and uh, need more people. Uh, we have a lot, but the more people we have like Lester, um, really make a difference in each of our teams and our student athletes' lives. Uh, as well to our head coaches for being here, um, special place at Nichols, they all work together to help make Nichols a better place and give our student athletes more and um, continue our success. Uh, Coach Helmers is taking over the soccer program at tremendous time. Uh, for those of you that have been to games, you can see the girls on the field and we're excited for the growth to continue. Um, that growth with the long tradition of Nichols soccer success in the classroom um, gives us a lot to be proud of as uh, colonels. Um, we'll continue to give as many thanks as possible as Thibodeau Regional Health System. Um, the facility that they have provided our soccer student athletes is the best competitive facility in the Southland Conference. And it's seen when teams come here, whether they're Southland Conference schools or not. Um, also thanks to the state of Louisiana and former representative Tanner McGee for his commitment to women's athletics at Nichols, um, which will give, help give our soccer student athletes a top of the line facility um, that We'll be taking their current facility, completely renovating it, but locker rooms, coaches' offices, meeting rooms, um, so on, on, on and off campus. We'll have uh, great resources for them. Uh, it is always exciting when former student athletes come back to campus after years from their last competition. You get to see their growth, um, and it's usually so much from the 18-year-old at times that we remember coming to campus for the first time. Um, we don't always get to see that group growth well during a head coaching interview. And um, that growth um, was evident during the process. And I think the search committee went from let's give Christy an opportunity to her quickly becoming one of the top candidates. And that is a testament uh, to her and her ability to um, understand what it takes to build a program and continue to work with student athletes. Um, and we're extremely proud uh, to welcome her back as a soccer coach um, for a program she wants to play for. Um, Dr. Jay Kloon, our sixth president, is at a banquet off campus. Um, and we're extremely grateful for his continued support of Nichols Athletics, and he apologized for not being here today. Um, and I would like to welcome Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics, Jonathan Terrell. Thank you uh, once again. Uh, as Andrew said, thank you to the Regional Health System Health Systems for all they do uh, for our student athletes, uh, even on and off the field. So we are very grateful. Lester for stepping in and uh, being the interim head coach. And uh, Lester, I'm gonna need that key back, bro. But uh, <laughs> to your own building. But uh, so again, good morning. Uh, so I would always say again that uh, it's always very special when you can bring uh, alumni back home to, to run a program that they were a part of. Uh, I remember, uh, and Christy might tell the story, but I, I have a uh, a memory of, of talking to her one time about uh, having an opportunity to interview for the job. Just an opportunity. Sounds familiar, Tavon? Just an opportunity to be able to do that. So uh, I'm a, uh, delighted to announce the, uh, the appointment of Christy Helms as the new head coach of our uh, women's soccer team. She is not only an accomplished coach, but also one of our own, a former student athlete who graduated and has since gone on to build a coaching career. Uh, it means a great deal to us to have an alumna return to the place that gave her so much. Her passion for this university and our soccer program is unmatched. Chrissy embodies the qualities we value most, most, which is hard work, teamwork, and a deep love for this institution. She understands our culture and has experienced firsthand the unique environment we offer. One that extends beyond challenges to the rich experiences and lifelong connections formed here. I always emphasize the importance of hiring individuals who genu genuinely want to be here, who know and appreciate this place, and just for uh, not just for its struggles, but for the profound impact that it has on people. Chrissy is a testament to that belief, and is why it is with great honor that we welcome her as our new head coach for women's soccer. Chrissy. <laughs>
though he's not here, I'd like to thank Dr. Clune for this opportunity. I'm very excited to work uh, under his leadership. He was a president during my time as an athlete, and I'm very excited to be a coach. Um, I would like to thank JT and the hiring committee for this opportunity. And as JT mentioned, I was lucky enough to get to know JT before this position. Um, when I was an athlete, he actually was not yet the athletic director. His twin daughters were freshmen on the soccer team when I was a senior, so I got to know the family pretty well. Um, JT and his wife were always at all of our games, and as an international student, they were always so welcome, welcoming and friendly. They used to invite me over to their house to eat. Um, the twins would never have any idea that I was invited to eat that weekend. Um, and right after I graduated, uh, JT was hired as the athletic director, and as he mentioned, um, I made a joke to him about having the opportunity. Um, it wasn't really a joke. I always hoped that this uh, that this position would open up at the right time for both of us. I've used the phrase "full circle moment" many of times when talking about this opportunity. When JT became the athletic director, I sent him a message to congratulate him, and I mentioned that I would have loved to have played under him as an athletic director. Little did I know he would do me one better, and I would get to work under him. I think he's a great leader and a great friend, and I look forward to working alongside him. I also want to thank Jen and Andrew. I not only want to thank you for this opportunity, but uh, you both have had such an open door. Um, anything I've needed, you've both been there and, and have made the transition very easy. I want to thank Lester. Um, I think he's been around the soccer program probably than, more than anyone in this room, maybe combined. Um, and I know the program was in great hands with Frank being with you. Um, and I'm looking forward to this adventure with you. Lastly, I want to thank all of the head coaches at Nichols. Um, thank you all for being here today and Tate, Mom, Stephanie, Janae, Justin, you've all been very welcoming since I've been here and I look forward to working with you guys. I'm very excited to be the new women's soccer head coach and that is a saying that will never get old. The community support here is like one that I have never experienced before and I'm very excited to be back home. From being an athlete at Nichols to a coach, I can see that that support extends to anyone who is part of Nichols. Athletes, students, alumni and staff have the support of Thibodeau and its community and that's what makes it such a special place. In my interview, I asked the other head coaches what their favorite thing about working at Nichols was, even though I already knew the answer. They all said that it was the people. As an athlete, the people were my favorite part, and as a coach, it has quickly become my favorite part. As a coach, I have many goals and ambitions for the program, but in a nutshell, I'm very excited to continue to build the development of our current players and bring in new recruits to continue to build that success. I look forward to recruiting local Louisiana players. The quality of Louisiana soccer has grown over the years. Louisiana now has an LGP elite program, and for those of you who don't know soccer, it is club soccer at the next level. It is where all of the best players in Louisiana are in one place. It has been great to see the level of soccer here improve and for these new teams to form. It is a place that I am currently recruiting from and that I look forward to recruiting from in the future. I think with Texas being so close to us and having a large population, that is another state that I plan to target heavily, especially since we have so many teams in our conference that are from Texas. It gives the families an opportunity to travel to watch a lot of our games. Texas always also has a lot of ECNL teams throughout, which is high level club soccer. These are just two examples of the places that I plan to recruit from. But in order for us to be successful, I know that recruiting comes all over. I plan to target all of the country internationally by hitting all states, continuing the relationships that I currently have with agencies, targeting junior colleges, and looking at transfers that are looking for a home. I plan to find quality players who fit our team culture. I'm going to create a team culture that reflects the culture of Nichols and Thibodeau. <coughs> where we are a close-knit group that show up every day ready to give 100%. And that 100% extends across myself, my coaching staff, and my players. I want to coach our current players and future players to be successful leaders in their professional lives, so that they can be good leaders and role models within the community and wherever their careers take them, and that they can represent Nichols forever. As an alumni, I look forward to bringing the alumni back home and creating that connection between our current players and alumni. Being an alumni myself, I have years of connections with alumni, and I think I can bring that back to the program. I think it's important to have that connection as the alumni feels like they're still part of the family, but that our current girls can also use them as mentors. I'm looking forward to having alumni out at a lot of our games this year, but also having alumni game in the spring. I know with all of these combined, the wins will come. I've used the phrase, we have great bones many of times since being hired. I know we are set up to success here. We have the resources, facilities, but especially the people here to do it. And I look forward to growing this program to achieve everything that it is capable of.